10 News begins with breaking news. In the last 45 minutes, armed police cleared the scene where they say a man was shooting toward officers through an apartment window. Now hundreds of people are finally being let back into their homes. 10 News reporter Jessica Chen is live near the scene. And Jessica, people you spoke with say they knew the man police were calling an active shooter. That's right. Neighbors told me that the shooter had mental issues and that before he started shooting, they'd heard him throwing furniture and screaming. But when he started shooting, it came from his apartment. Now police say he shot more than 10 rounds, which started around 7.40 p.m. They say he shot in different directions with bullets lodged into neighboring apartments. Police say after about two hours, the suspect willingly walked out of the timber apartment complex and was taken into custody. The shooting caused all the residents in the complex to be evacuated, and the SWAT team spent more than an hour sweeping through each unit. Neighbors we spoke to say they're shaken up. I heard three gunshots. I was just sitting inside. We were watching TV. They heard furniture throwing. They heard him talking loud because I kept hearing some guy early in the day talking loud. I, I, it didn't click until we came back and then that's when they told mm -hmm. us stay away from the, the area because he's getting ready to shoot and we're like what what do you mean he's getting ready to shoot now all the residents in the complex have been let back in and as for the suspect he was taken into custody and he wasn't hurt as was everybody else who was involved but for now reporting in El Cajon Jessica Chen back to you thanks so much for that live report Jessica meantime here's a map to show you where this was all centered the apartment complex is on Petrie Street near the between the 8 and the 125, everything came to a halt. Traffic was backed up in every direction.